Welcome to Movie Roundup today. I'm going to explain a thriller movie. War Called Mine. On an important mission in the middle of the desert we see Mike a skillful American sniper next to Tommy his observer and assistant them. They are on top of the rock waiting for a convoy arrives with a dangerous terrorist who must be eliminated. While a group of civilians speak, walk to the place. Seconds later you can see the convoy getting closer while Mike receives instructions on how to act. Then stop and one of them, the target to which they should be lowered. Murder on the spot. Celebrating a wedding and Mike tries. Attack his target but does not get a clean shot suddenly one of the Fighters sees the reflection of the sun on the look at the sniper so he screams and alerts others the target will removes in the van while the others shoot at the soldiers. Mike and Tommy flee on foot trying camouflage with the environment. Fighters pursue them but the soldiers manage to hide behind a rock. When they are about to find them one of the combatants gives the order Retreat as you can see a fierce sandstorm approaching. Quickly. Inside the storm the soldiers take the opportunity to move and ask for help. Over the radio the command center tells them that an immediate extraction is impossible and orders them to go to a town to the west of where they are since if the fighters stay there they could come back and find them time. Then the storm passes and we can see the two soldiers walking in the sun. The wind brings flying a poster of sheet on which are printed some strange letters with a warning sign. Tommy tells him that the poster is a fake signal to keep enemies distant but that in reality there is not nothing to worry about. Mike is not so sure about that and tells him which could indicate the presence of mines land under the sand. Tommy prompts Mike to keep moving into town and the boy follows him through behind suspiciously after a little time while they were talking Tommy steps on a of the mines and when he lifts his foot he flies in the air. Mike is stunned and tries to go to help his partner but when giving a step listen to another of the mines. Activate under you. Mike realizes this so I know. He remains immobile since if he stops exercising. Pressure on the mine the pump. Would detonate the radio it was in the backpack. Of Tomic so the subject dying. Morphine is injected to relieve pain. And try to stretch to reach the. Radio Tommy tries to communicate with the. Command center but you can't get it. Injuries are very serious bleeding out and how no one can help him. He decides to end his suffering. Mike is desolate and very distressed but he must resist he stands up, knees and takes the knife out of him with which he checks that he really stands. About the anti-personnel mine then. Remove the lace from the boot remove the sniper rifle holder and gun a kind of improvised hook with a Tactical axe at the tip which he uses to hook your backpack partner and bring her closer to and try to use the radio he realizes that he has no battery left so he draws from the single panel laptop backpack and the put to load after a while dry communicate again with the base military and this time Mike succeeds informs of the situation of him and Tommy and Calls for immediate evacuation with disarming. Explosives on the other side tell you that. His vehicles are not yet in use by. Sandstorms but there is a. Allied convoy that could pass through your. Location in 52 hours also suggests. That the mine could be old so. That there is a probability that. Explode when lifting foot. Communication is cut and Mike activates a 52 hour countdown on his watch too. While as an energy bar and it is given 
look out at a strong sandstorm. He advances towards Mai who grabs his rifle with one hand and his knife with the other end. He sticks them in the sand for support so that the fast winds do not achieve. Make it fall when the storm passes. Mike that his friend is by his side. Decides to take the batteries from the radio. They were in Tommy's vest but looking for the backpack he sees that the wind several meters away at a distance unattainable. The boy laughs with a certain dementia and he shoots to the sky hoping someone. I heard it shortly after Amon appears. From the dunes and Mike and try. Communicate with him yells warning. Of the minefield but the subject does not. Pay attention and keep going sir. Speaks a little Spanish and seems to know. How to get to Mike without stepping on any. Explosive when approaching he tells her that she must. Take the next step the boy is very. Confused and tells him that he can't. That the subject points to his canteen. Mike gives it to him and then asks him to. Please look for your radio the man tells you. That on the radio they don't play good music and. Insist Mike to give the following. Step then he leaves while Mike yells at him trying to explain to him that he can't move to a while the daughter of man appears and runs up to Mike with her canteen the girl gives it back full of water baby and thanks him while the girl takes from her bag to a toy soldier man takes out of his vest one that he brought with it and gives it to the girl so she can put to play seconds later Mike asks him to reach the radio and the girl looks at him. Man gets desperate and yells at him. That the girl runs away there are more to go. 38 hours to rescue when night begins to fall Mike like a energy bar and then improvise a small fire with some sticks. They were close at night the fire of Mike goes out and he tries to rekindle it. Since it is the only thing that protects it from the Wild animals keeping them. Far away. Soon after you may hear some. Howls nearby so he shoots with the. Gun of his friend trying to scare. The animals the jackals approach and. They take the body of Tommy and Mike. Shoot one of them that detonates when fleeing. A mine from the ground scaring everyone away. The other animals. The next day the man appears again. And he asks his name, the Lord asks him. Question Mike because he is not a man. Free and suggests that he is a man with. Lucky as he was able to survive a. Night in the desert with the foot on. Of a mine. The subject assures that Mike is afraid and. He tells her that every day his passing can be. The last one then what is the difference? Today Mike tells her that even if she is a. Lucky person there are only 7% of probabilities that the mine does not explode when you stop stepping on the end asks. Again let him hand over the radio. The man gives it to him and Mike and tries. Communicate with the base but not. Get moments later Mr. La says that he become a free man. And then he goes off into the sunset Mike starts to delirious and hallucinate and starts to argue only with someone invisible. Moments later he sees his friend Tommy get up from the sand saying that already it's almost time to go home and he will stay by his side at night. He hears his cell phone ring and tries achieve it. His friend tells him that he is crazy since here there is no signal but then it shows you the cell phone with a call from his father. In the hallucination Mike remembered how his father abandoned him when he was young he he wanted to survive so he could see his wife Jenny and not abandon her like they soon made a pack of jackals approaches Mike and they attack the boy defends himself as best he can with his gun and knife while wild animals pounce on you the next morning we can see Mick shaking and bleeding still with his 
knife in hand on the clock you see that there are seven hours left until his rescue and the boy grabs the radio to communicate with the base they tell him that the convoy was attacked and is underscore by which must survive another 17 hours before they reach their position Mike is devastated but the commander passes the mic to Jane and his wife listening to his voice Mike apologizes for leaving her alone and she regrets it of the decisions that led to the situation he is in then he hallucinates seeing her in front of him and he begins to fade falling towards ahead luckily the man who has been helping appears and holds him avoiding that Mike lift the foot of the mine and explode while he heals his wounds sir tells him that a long time ago he he also stood on a mine that blew off his leg tells him that he believed that his life ended at that moment since he would do nothing like before but still he was able to recover and now he is a happy man Mike listen carefully and he congratulates him for having such a good girl that he helped him by bringing him his canteen confused the man tells him that his daughter died a few years ago it turns out that they they are very poor for what they were mines to sell to the army leaving a small metal can instead one of those excursions his daughter stepped on a of the mines causing it to explode and dying on the spot Mike is confused since he had seen his daughter when she finishes cure him gives him a stranger to drink substance and then leaves while away Mike sees his daughter again but he quickly disappears behind a cloud of sen shortly after Mike begins to to hallucinate again his life passes through his of him eyes of him and sees the father of him that he used to hit his mother remembers the beautiful moments that he spent with his wife and also with his mother in a hospital bed struggling for the life of him suddenly Mike is pierced by a bullet and realizes that the terrorists who were searching they have found it they keep shooting at him but Mike quickly grab his gun and shoot several times to the arena until he detonates a mine that gives you some cover again takes the rifle from him and shoots them until run out of bullets managing to kill them everybody Mike is seriously injured and soon time sees the rescue convoy along far unfortunately the rescue team he cannot see the soldier due to the large sand dunes and camouflages his clothes the boy needs to call his attention somehow and I see a smoke grenade lying on the sand a few meters if you manage to activate the Granada the rescue team will be able to locate it but to reach it Mike has to move activating the mine that could kill him quickly recalls the story that the sir told him and what he told him does what what happens we have to give the next step always have to continue then Mike realizes that it is better risk taking the step to die in that desert alone and without being able to see his wife Mike is ready for whatever he can go through what he walks towards forward by releasing pressure on the mine surprisingly the explosive is not detonated and Mike falls to the ground very confused decides to dig up the mine as the Lord taught him and in doing so discovers that there was not a mine but a rusty metal can Mike opens the can and inside he finds the little soldier toy with which the daughter of the man who took care of him at that time account that in that place there used to be a mine but the girl had dug up putting a can in his place Mike lays on the sand with him little soldier in hand and starts laughing grateful to the man and his daughter who once again they had saved his life my who triggers the grenade on the team going to rescue him meanwhile he 
understand the important life lesson. That is experience and man have. Given no matter how difficult it is for you. Situation you always have to move forward. You always have to take that step. Mike returns to his city where his. His wife was waiting for him he approaches. He leaves the bag and kneels suggesting. That he would never leave her alone again. Remember to leave your like that helps. A lot to the channel subscribe and activate the. Notifications to see more videos like. This. Thanks for watching and until next time.